And I think one of the cool things about the SPO community is like everybody is so different, right? And it's just like from the world's like kind of like standard, like from just like looking at it at face value, just like why are all these people friends, yeah. Yeah. right? And it was, I remember walking into like my first SPO event and it was funny because like I was carrying some of like my judgments or like woundedness with community of like needing to like fit the mold or like appear a certain mm -hmm. way into this community. So, but it was kind of funny because it's like I remember walking in and one of the missionaries, he was from like middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. And I was so confused because we're in like urban New Jersey and he's like, <laughs> This like guy with like a beard and like wearing a camo shirt, jeans, That's camo exciting. belt buckle with a camo phone case <laughs> and like cowboy boots. And I'm just like, who the heck is this guy like in New Jersey? That's awesome. I mean, he, but he was like really nice, like asking me a lot of good questions. But then I remember finding a student who was also Filipino. And I was like, oh, cool. It's like, another, like he dresses cool. He cuffs his jeans. He's wearing bands. I was like, I'm going to go talk to that guy. I'm going to talk to that guy. But like... I can't, like there's like there's something like again it's just yeah. like so tangible there of like yeah. like why does this person even care about me like we have mm -hmm. nothing in common what were like what was it like for you guys when you guys first started coming around SPO my first experience of SPO was when I was interviewing to be a missionary <laughs> and so I went out to Ohio State for my interview go bucks. and go bucks <laughs> and um, I um, I can't sorry I can't do that <laughs> um, but anyways anyways so I went to Ohio State for my interview and I had my interview and then I went to a household for dinner and I just remember being like, like really suspicious. Like, I was just like, no way. Like, there's no way these women are this nice. Because like, I had good Christian community in college and like really had strong sisterhood and like had not experienced that kind of generosity and gentleness with sisters really ever before. And so I was like really suspicious. I was like, oh. eh, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this yeah. <laughs> because I like didn't believe how yeah. nice they were to each other. Mm -hmm. And like, that's not to say that my friends were mean to me or anything. Like I, I still love my friends from college, but there's something really particular about this community that the people are just so generous mm -hmm. and servant hearted and kind. And I was like really struck by it, but it took me a couple months to like get there because for a while I was like, mm mm. There's no way, yeah. like there's no way this is real, real that people like love each other in this way. I also, I just want to honor Jacqueline because this is something oh, yes. I think about an in honoring. community. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, so because good. my second experience of SPO was coming to training. And so I was like really overwhelmed when I first got here because I didn't really know what SPO was and I was still kind of fresh to everything. And one of my favorite things about SPO is the music and one of the hardest things for me was the music because yeah, I didn't know any so of the real. songs. Mm -hmm. And so I would just be in prayer meetings and I would be like, <laughs> I, I can't, yeah. And Jacqueline will like fight through a crowd to find me and like whip her phone out and like swing through, not swing through, swipe through the whole songbook oh to find a song God. for me. And it, oh, and oh, yeah, that so that's my yeah. sister. That is so good. I just like, that is like wow. my experience of community of like a sister who fights for me, like in any circumstance, yeah. like a sister who fights for me in a prayer meeting when I don't know the words or like, you know, a sister who fights for me, like, uh, you know, when we're like running down the streets of Kansas City or something, you know, like, <laughs> like I just think that was like a really big witness to me and has continued to be a witness to me the whole year. Wow. And God. yeah, yeah. I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. glad. Thanks for being a good sister, Jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's like really interesting to think about it because I knew about SPO and I knew that I needed it, but I was actually like kind of just like a little bit resistant in my heart, like when it actually came to like choosing it. Throughout my freshman year, I was like, this is good, but like, do I really want this? And at that time, I was still like, kind of living a double life. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, like really, really like trying to, to live in freedom, but like still really, really enslaved to a lot of things. And um, yeah, I just, I think I was like hesitant and a little bit resistant because it was like, if I choose this, like my life is actually going to be different. Am I ready for that? Yeah.